Let us now take a look at this particular example where we want to find the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees. Since the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, then this angle here is also 45 degrees. Now, these two angles are equal, which means that this triangle is an isosceles triangle, that is, this side is also equal to A. And from here, we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees. However, in this case, we can do it in another way. We'll use the following two identities. The first identity is that the sine of alpha is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha. And the second identity is that the sine squared of alpha plus the cosine squared of alpha is equal to 1. These two identities are true for all angles alpha. However, in this particular case, when alpha is equal to 45 degrees, then alpha and 90 degrees minus alpha are equal, which means that the sine of 45 degrees is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus 45 degrees, and that is equal to the cosine of 45 degrees. And from the second identity, we get that the sine squared of 45 degrees plus the cosine squared of 45 degrees is equal to 1. So, the sine of 45 degrees is equal to the cosine of 45 degrees and we can say that that is equal to x. Now, if we substitute x instead of the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees in this second expression, we get that x squared plus x squared is equal to 1, which means that x squared is equal to 1 over 2. Since 45 degrees is an acute angle, then the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees are positive, which means that x is positive, so we can say that x is equal to the square root of 1 over 2. which is equal to the square root of 1 over the square root of 2, and that is equal to 1 over the square root of 2. And if we don't want to leave this square root in the denominator, we can multiply this by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, and we get that this is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. Therefore, the sine of 45 degrees and the cosine of 45 degrees are equal to the square root of 2 over 2. We started with a right triangle whose one acute angle was equal to 45 degrees. Then we noticed that it's also an isosceles triangle and we said that we could proceed by using the Pythagorean theorem. However, we decided to do it in a slightly different way. We used three things. Two identities that are true for all angles, and the fact that when alpha is 45 degrees, alpha and 90 degrees minus alpha are equal. In the end, we got that both the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees are equal to the square root of 2 over 2. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. What are the tangent and the cotangent of 45 degrees? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.